morning. Um, today we're going to paint um, one of our series of using what you have. I'm sure everybody has at home a brown little paper bag that they've gotten for the um, for a gift or something. So I'm going to show you how to decorate it. What I'm going to use is just a regular pencil here to outline our three little hearts. So I'm going to just kind of draw them in with my pencil if you can see what I'm doing. See that? And then I'm going to have another pencil right here. Another heart. I'm sorry. And a third heart right about here. Can everybody see those hearts nice and clear? I hope so. So we're going to do some primary colors. We're going to do some reds and blues and pinks. So we're going to do the darkest color on the bottom and the lighter colors on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, blue um, color, which is my strongest color, and I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I'm just painting it just like if you had a coloring book, right? Just put some blue paint on here. And with paper, the easy part of it is that you don't have to worry about putting a lot of water in your brush or anything like that. I'm just following the shape of my heart. See that? Oh, the shape of my heart. Yes. So I'm going to come up here and do some of that blue. See that? Now, while my brush is still loaded with paint here, I'm going to take some of darker blue and I'm going to go around the edge of those um, hearts just to separate the one from the bottom from the top one. See that? And I want a little highlight on the top here. So I'm just going to wipe my brush a little bit on my paper towel. And I'm going to take some white. And when you blend those two colors together, see how cool that looks? This looks like a highlight. But because we don't want that big transition between this one and here, what I do is I take my original blue color and blend it in there with my white and we have a nice little contrast see that really like the way this is looking okay now the second heart that we're going to do here is the bottom heart that one is going to be um red maybe red right so we're going to take some nice vibrant red see that and i haven't even rinsed my brush i'm just putting the color straight on there and like I said, use whatever you have at home. I'm using tube acrylics, uh, golden uh, paints. But if you have any kind of um, acrylic paints at home, this is a great project to do with kids. Now that Easter is coming up and, um, you know, you can do this later on for Mother's Day and give somebody a nice little gift, fill it up with a bag of cookies or something like that. So now what I'm going to do is on the bottom here, I'm going to make that area a little bit darker. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that darker red and run it along the sides there of my um, heart. And I picked up a little bit of blue on my brush. And then I'm going to wipe my brush a little bit and move that paint out and take a little bit of the white and come on the right side here to highlight that heart. See how cool that's looking? And it's like no effort at all. I mean, you don't really need to uh, know a lot of technique or anything. And this brush is almost dry. I don't have really any water in my brush. See that? So now I'm going to rinse my brush completely because my last color is going to be yellow. And that happens to be one of the lightest colors on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my yellow and I'm going to put it straight on onto my uh, heart here. And that color is a little bit too transparent, so I'm going to take a little bit of white and blend it in there, and look how cool that looks. It almost looks like neon yellow, right? So I'm just doing the shape of my heart, and I happen to have a, a brush that has a little angle on it, but you can do a flat brush too. I'll show you how to do it with a flat brush. I just have a flat brush. See, nothing special. And I'm going to go around my heart. I'm going to do with a straight line here, my other side, and blend those colors in. Give it a little point. And now I want to highlight a little bit of that heart like I did with the red and the blue. So I'm going to take a little bit of my white, and I'm going to come to the right side here, or yeah, your right side, my left. 
and highlight that. And then I'm going to come back with a little bit of a darker yellow to the other side of that heart. And I'm going in long strokes. See that? I'm not going really short strokes. And I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to take a little bit more of that yellow, blend it in there. And now you have three little hearts. If you wanted to add another design or something like that, it's up to you. You can do some little checkers on the bottom of it. You can, you know, just do a little bit of design on it. And then if you have a little uh, a pen or marker or whatever, you can put some little dots in between, but it doesn't matter. This is, you know, just something that you're going to give to somebody as a gift. And with that, your project is done. If you wanted to highlight a little bit more over here, you can just go pure white. And then take your yellow now and put that on top. And it gives it a brighter yellow. See that? I like the way that looks. So stay tuned in. We will have more um, videos to show you so that you can uh, do them at home while we're all in quarantine. And um, hope you come back and paint with us when we have a classroom to teach at. Have a good weekend.